Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Stephen the Lag Gamer, and today I'm back with a pickups video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, just because basically when the year started out, I actually haven't been getting too much. Uh, I've kind of slowed down on things I needed to buy because I knew spring was going to be really heavy, and with a child and stuff who should be here today, but she's being stubborn and not coming out. Uh, just trying to slow down the spending. But over the past few months, I did acquire a few things, mainly a bunch of stuff this month. So I figured I'd go ahead and show it all off to you now uh, while I have a chance. And hopefully the baby doesn't come out <laughs> while I'm trying to record this video. So anyways, let's get things started with the biggest thing. Well, first I want to, I didn't bring the stuff out here. Uh, Mike Aerodyn Aerodynamic, he sent me a package with a bunch of great stuff in it. That should be the video before this one. So be sure to go check that one out and see all the stuff that he sent me. Because he sent me a bunch of stuff and I just didn't want to bring all that out here because... I don't really have enough room out here to set everything. So, to get things started, beautiful collector's edition here. The Diablo 3 Reapers of Soul, Reaper of Souls collector's edition. And this thing, I was going to do an unboxing for it. Maybe if you want to get a closer look at it. But, it's just glare off of everything. The lighting, if you can see in here, is just really bad. I wish I had some great natural lighting somewhere to film, but I don't. I got three lamps in here trying to make me look bright orange. So anyways, this is a beautiful box set that came with an art book. It's really cool how the box is. The box is super high quality, really thick and rigid and just awesome. It's got raised uh, graphics and lettering on it. Really cool picture there on the inside. Awesome. It came with a great art book, which again, the uh, whoop, mouse pad came with a mouse pad. <laughs> The art book again with the raised lettering and stuff on it. Really cool stuff. Bunch of artwork and stuff in here. It came with the behind the scenes Blu ray, uh, the actual game add on, of course, and the soundtrack. So I went ahead and bought that because I've been loving some Diablo 3 on the PC here recently. It's just been amazing getting on there, playing with friends, and Reaper of Souls for the patch that Blizzard put out with the 2.0 and stuff. It's just been a blast. And these Blizzard Collector's Editions actually hold their value still. I know the uh, Diablo 3, the original one that came out, uh, still actually holds its price uh, since it came out. So really cool, really nice box set to have. So Another thing that I just snatched today uh, was the Final Fantasy X and X-2 Remaster Edition. Picked that up from GameStop. And uh, of course it says it's new, but uh, it was open. They put their little sticker on it. And I wanted to get the Vita version just because playing uh, handheld RPGs, I tend to finish more often than a console one. It's just easier to play them. So really glad to have it on the Vita. And yeah, I haven't plugged it in yet, but look forward to giving it a try. It was one of the first Final Fantasy games I've ever tried playing, but I got to a boss. I've said it so many times, just couldn't beat, but now it's going down. All right. Also picked this up today, too. And it was Dungeon, uh, what's it called? Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony. I'm really into dungeon crawlers, and this looked like another another great one. So I went ahead and picked it up. So about six, six and a half, yeah, six dollars and thirty cents. And for the PSP, I just love collecting stuff on there, so I had to grab it, had to snatch it uh, for the cheap price. Also used, uh, had a four dollar or five dollars off used games that I use today too. So I did save five bucks on all my purchases today, but we we'll look forward to getting into that one. Next PSP one we have here, Ultimate Ghost and Goblins. Got this one at a pawn shop a few weeks back. It's really cheap, and they were trying to clear out all their PSP stuff. This was about the last good thing they had there, so I went ahead and snatched it. Really tough game. I'll probably never be able to beat it, but glad to have it in the collection. Bravely Default, I picked that up. I've talked about this a lot in the podcast and everything. Didn't get was it wasn't able to get the collector's edition because I didn't pre-order it like a dummy. But I've been loving this game, and then I've gotten to chapter six, and I'm just at a standstill where I don't really have the drive to want to finish the game. It started out great, and then it hits a point where it kind of got frustrating. But you know, I'm gonna push through it and finish it off because it is a fantastic game. I want to see the end. Another one I grabbed today was Nano Assault. I actually played the demo nano assault was a neo on the wii u and i was really loving that demo really fun little shooter so i went ahead and picked up this ds title i could never find it at my game stops at least complete because i knew they had a cheap price for it but sure enough they had it in there today so i went ahead and snatched it so nano assault 
this was another game I picked up at the pawn shop I was at because I figured uh, Dusty Christ, I figured he needed this because he was talking about wanting to get into the Professor Layton series. And I couldn't remember which one he needed. And before he responded, I had already bought this one. And it was the Diabolical Box. Well, he doesn't need that one because they're everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this for myself now and give it a go. I did play this a while back because uh, my grandmother had it and let me use it. But you know what? Now I got it. And we'll see how my wife really enjoys this game too. So level five. It's got to be good. You hear a bunch of great things about it. All right, another one that you guys have already seen, I don't know why I grabbed it, was Aliens, Colonial Marines. Of course, we had the game night and stuff with it, so check out the unboxing on the collector's edition of that. Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, we really like the first two Metal Gear Solid games, Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. A lot of people rave about that one, being actually being their favorite Metal Gear Solid game, but... Something about it just seems really... I know it's a stealth game, but it just seems really slow. And i that's one I just could not get into. Or at least I can't get past six hours into it. So I'm going to just try to look up what the storyline's about and then jump into Metal Gear Solid 4 because I hear a lot of great things about this. Plus Ground Zeroes and Metal Gear Solid 5 is looking beautiful, so I want to give it a try. This one I picked up on a whim just because I was trying to think of stuff for the next game night for another gaming podcast. And Crimson Skies was coming to mind. How much I love that game and playing online, doing dogfights. So I was looking to see if there's anything like that even out these days. And sure enough, there is. Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II. There's actually two of these out now. There's a second one. And this just looks just like some Crimson Skies action. Just dogfights, World War II error-ish. And just having a blast, just bolt up player in the skies. And also has a campaign I haven't touched yet. I haven't even put it in. But uh, just something really makes me... I really want to play like a flying airplane game for some reason. So this could be the next candidate for game night on other game podcasts. It is really cheap. As you see right there, about six bucks. Uh, and you can get a copy and play along with us if you want to. Should be a lot of fun. Because we're having problems with this past uh, Street Fighter one, which will be up tomorrow. Just the lobbies weren't big enough. And this one has a 16-player online lobby, so we can get a bunch of people in there playing. All right, now our final stuff is some Nintendo goodies. Uh, Metal Gear, uh, Metal Slug Anthology. Picked this up from that flea, uh, well, a pawn shop that I got the same Diabolical box and that PSP game from. So Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear, Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, 4, 5, and 6. All on this one disc. Metal Slug games are fun. They're so much fun to play, so looking forward to diving into more of that. Some Wii U games. I'm not sure if I showed this one off yet or not, but Lego Marvel Super Heroes got a little while back when it was on sale for 20 bucks. Have not been able to play it because my son won't let go of the Wii U and let me play anything, so... Lighting's better back here. I've been holding stuff up. There you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> So I haven't gotten too far into it, like four hours into it, and I barely dented it. This game is just huge and massive, but I had fun while I was playing it. Zombie U again, bought it a while back, but just have not been able to play it due to the sun. But I did dabble in it for a little bit, and it does seem pretty cool. Uh, you have your main hub that you go back to, your a part of your safe house, and you keep expanding, going further out into the city and stuff. So it was really cool from what I played. One that I haven't even opened yet because I don't want to open it until I play it and know that I'm going to be able to sit down and play it. And that is the Wonderful 101. I hear a lot of things, a lot of great things from a lot of people on this game. And it's platinum game, so I knew I was going to eventually have to get it. And this one's still sealed. And it's becoming harder and harder to find. I, I can't find it in any of my game stops. I got lucky, and this was the last one in stock at my local Target. So if you can find it, pick it up. Uh, I'm like a. In case something happens and it jumps up in value, I might just have to keep this one sealed and find another one. But I don't, I'm not sure. I really want to play this game. I just want to make sure I'm going to be able to actually sit down and play through it uh, when I open it up. And last but not least here, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Really, really been enjoying this one. Any chance I can get to the Wii U, this is one I've been focusing on. Just trying to clear a stage or two here or there when I can. I'm up to about the third world in it. And it is so. It is a tough, challenging platformer, platforming game. But I really love the music to this, the uh, rock and roll, like the metal sounding boss music and stuff. It's it's just amazing stuff. 
wonderful soundtrack, really great platformer, and uh, challenging. If you want to challenge and play this one. So that's all the stuff I'll show off. Uh, that's all the pickups I've gotten over the uh, past couple months. Not too much. Uh, the big purchase being that collector's edition for Diablo 3. Uh, coming up this spring, I can't think off the top of my head much that's coming out other than Mario Kart 8 that I really want to get uh, whenever Destiny's due out. I'm not sure when that's coming, if that's spring or not. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of too much, though, but really looking forward to Mario Kart 8. I'm really looking forward to having a game night around that. So, anyways, uh, I guess that's about it for the pickups. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. I know I want to do a PSP. I've got to go ahead and do a PSP collection video. Not sure when I'll be able to record that one and put it up. Uh, we'll see when the when the baby comes and if I'll have time. But for now, uh, this could be the last video for a little bit. We'll see. It shouldn't be too hard to get in front of the camera and do about a 10 or 15 minute video whether it's a discussion or some more pickups or something, or just sharing some thoughts with you guys and, and gals. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I guess that's about it for this video. So just thanks for watching. Like a gamer. I'm lagging out.